Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Destiny video, Guiding Light here. In today's Destiny video, I'm bringing you guys a review, an updated review of the Mito Multi-Tool in the Age of Triumph. Now, the Mito Multi-Tool has always been a very well-rounded weapon and it's, it's actually been one of the only weapons to be good throughout the entire lifespan of Destiny. Over three years, this weapon has pretty much always been great. Now, it's not something that I ever used to use all that often, but... With the Age of Triumph update and the special ammo changes, I've actually been trying to use a lot of loadouts that I wouldn't usually use. I was basically stuck using just a sniper, a thousand yard stare, and I would pretty much use that every single game. But ever since the special changes, I've actually been using a lot more weapons like shotguns. Occasionally, I'll actually put on a scout rifle, which is something I would almost never run previously. So in a way, this update has been great with the special changes, at least for the 6v6 game modes. But that's not really what we're here to talk to you guys about today. Today, I really just want to talk to you guys about this Mito Multi Tool because I never really gave it a fair chance. I never really thought it was something that I would use or anything that was actually all that great in general. It was just a scout rifle that was there, and I knew it had a really big clip and could get a lot of kills, but overall, it wasn't ever something I wanted to run or use. But now, after running it a few times in the Iron Banner last night, there's no way that I'm not going to be using this Mito Multi Tool now. The Mito Multi Tool might just be one of my new favorite weapons after using it tonight. And after this gameplay, I think you guys are going to agree with me as well because this Mito Multi Tool, in the right situation, is just absolutely unstoppable. So if you guys are in a lot of long range maps or you guys play a lot of 6v6 game modes, you definitely are going to want to try to give this Mito Multi Tool another shot. I might try to use Mito Multi Tool in trials here in the next couple weeks. The only thing is that I don't really like waiting for special ammo in 3v3s, but for 6v6, you're definitely going to love the Mito Multi Tool because you don't really have too much trouble getting special if you're in a 6v6. Now combining the Mono Multi Tool with something like a shotgun or a sidearm is definitely your best bet. I wouldn't really run Mono Multi Tool in a sniper. Not that it wouldn't work, but you're just not going to be as well rounded. You're going to be way more better off if you have something to defend yourself in close range. Now, I wouldn't even really use a sidearm at all. I hate sidearms now after what happened the past couple weeks with those. And there's just way too much like built up anger every time I see a, a Wormwood. So I don't really like using sidearms anymore, but I would definitely suggest using a shotgun. Now the key to using the Mito Multi Tool in a shotgun is really to just stay as aggressive as possible. Anytime you see somebody, you want to just start spamming your Mito. You got to remember that the clip has 21 bullets in it. And the reload time is honestly almost instantaneous. So you don't really need to worry about spamming your gun, which is why Mito Multi Tool is so infamous for just being spammed in general. But it definitely works. Every time that you see somebody, you just want to start spamming your gun because as soon as you get a shot on somebody, they're going to start getting staggered, which makes it very hard for them to get kills but it will definitely make it a lot easier for you to finish them off. Now the best thing about this gun that I found out is actually the fact that it has third eye on it. Now I never used to use third eye, especially with every, even when the artifacts came out, I would never even run that third eye artifact because Silomar is just so much better. But third eye definitely helps, especially with these scout rifles. You can be shooting somebody and before you even finish that kill, if you look at your radar, you can actually see where the next person is, which definitely helps for it to be even more aggressive. That's why I definitely love using a shotgun. And let's say you get like two or three shots on a guy with your Mito, you can immediately switch to your shotgun and just bum rush in there and get a really easy kill, especially if you have full auto like I did. So on my Mito Multi Tool, I like to run the Quick Drop perk as well as Smart Drift Control. The Agility perk will definitely help you to get around the map faster, but while running my Titan, I just throw in the Dune Marchers, so it's as if I have that perk and Quick Draw at the same time. Definitely helps out a little bit with Dune Marchers, the mobility. With the scout rifle, just allows me to basically dodge everyone's shots while I'm still able to shoot them pretty easily. So that's why I definitely like to run Dune Marchers. Now, you might want to run something like the agility perk on the Mita. You can always just buff your agility on your subclass as well, just to make you move a little bit quicker. But overall, agility while running multiple multi tools is definitely going to help you out. Getting around the map faster with your shotgun as well is definitely always an added bonus. So the only real reason that I like to have a lot of agility while running the Mito Multi Tool is just so that if I'm in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with somebody, I can always like strafe back and forth or just move back and forth very quickly. And if I have low agility, I'm not going to be able to move as fast. It's going to be way more predictable. But the higher your agility is, the more sporadic you can move around while shooting. And it actually makes it a lot harder to die because you can dodge a lot of the people's shots while they're shooting at you. Now it sounds kind of crazy, but it really does work if you're aimed down your sight with a Mito or really just any weapon. The more you strafe back and forth, the harder it is for you get, to get shot, but at the same time, it's still pretty easy for you to shoot them, so it's definitely something you want to get used to when running Mita. Otherwise, you may not be able to win a lot of your one-on-one -on -one gunfights if you get close up to somebody. If they're using like a hand cannon or if they're using a Mita multi-tool as well, they're just going to outgun you every single time, so you definitely need to get down your strafing with this weapon. That's definitely the key to success with this thing. 
overall. Zone a. So right here in this class, I'm running the Striker with the Dune Marchers. That's what I chose to use to boost my agility, but you guys can pretty much use any piece of gear that you'd like to boost your agility, or you can just change your subclass around a little bit just to make you move a little bit quicker. But I definitely would suggest having some sort of agility buff while running the Mita. Now I know this gun is extremely old for me to be doing a review on, and it's been out since literally day one in Destiny. It's probably one of the most used and one of the most common exotics in this game, which is also kind of why I did want to make this video for the people that may not have really tried this thing out like me. I kind of just put it on the shelf for the past three years, never really thought that it was something that I would like or that something that would be as good as it actually is, but I'm not really too sure if it's just the meta at this point in time or if this gun's just been perfect since the beginning, but I kind of regret not using this thing now for sure, so if you have a minor multi-tool that you've just not really been using or just kind of let sit there, I would suggest you guys pull it out every once in a while. You know, if you're on Widow's Court especially or really any long-range map, just throw it on for a couple games, and I promise if you follow these tips, you're really not going to be disappointed. This thing is just so ridiculous and unstoppable, and every time that I get on any long-range map now, I don't even think about running a sniper. I just immediately throw on my minor multi-tool because it's just so damn good. And it's so fun to use. There's something about the sound of this weapon that just makes you want to spam it even more. And I... But either way, guys, if I had to give you one final tip while using the Mighty Multi Tool is if you don't have shotgun ammo or if you just don't have any secondary ammo at all, don't be afraid to use the Mighty Multi Tool even in close range, but you don't really want to be aiming down your sight. If you have somebody bum rushing you really fast or if you have somebody that is getting closer to you while you shoot them, be sure to only use your sight for a couple of the shots. You don't want to aim every single bullet, otherwise you're going to end up missing because they're going to just be running around so often. But I'm going to show you a quick example here of what I'm talking about. So here this guy picks up his shotgun ammo and he's rushing me. Now I decide to get my distance away from him. That's something you really want to make sure you're doing is if you have the chance, just get away from the guy as much as possible because they're going to just bum rush you with a shotgun. But the most important part when someone is rushing you like that is to make sure that you're not just stuck aimed down your sight. If someone's moving around through the air like that, you're not going to be able to aim your sight that accurately and track them through the air like that. So all you have to do is some, if someone is rushing you or if you're using the minor multi-tool in close range in general is while you're shooting at somebody, you want to just slowly scope in and out of your sight to try to get the aim assist to proc again. It sounds pretty weird and it does take a little bit of getting used to, but if you just spam L2 while you're shooting somebody, eventually the game will kind of just take over and give you so much aim assist that it just kind of guides you straight to the person's chest or head. And so that's kind of what I mean when you're using Mind Multi-Tool in close range or someone's bum rushing you. Just slowly spam that L2 button or occasionally scope in and out to just kind of reset the aim on it and it will help you guys out in the long run. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and in some of these tips, this happened to be one of my craziest games of all time, especially in Iron Banner. I think I got almost 40 kills while running this setup. So like I said before, you definitely might want to try this out after watching this video. We've got 39 kills with a 9.75 kill death ratio and this is only like my third or fourth game running the Mind of multi tool so Definitely test out your Mita if you haven't already. Bring it back out if you liked it before. And other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.